Hello from everyone, we're going to review the science we've been watching around Brain Pop Junior on Community Helpers. The topic we're going to review, we're going to remember what they spoke about and review some of the specific names of the jobs. So the title today is Community Helpers. We've got, who can you remember any of those jobs that you've got? The title today is Community Helpers. So let's remember the community is, the topic is community helpers. You watched the video on Brain Pop Junior called Community Helpers with Annie and Moby. A crossing guard is a community helper who helps people cross the street safely. And so we remember the name of him. He is a crossing guard. Crossing guard. Now a community, a group of people who work together. Brain School is an example of a community. Any ideas that you can think of? Maybe your church or your team. Who keeps people safe? Can you think of the people who help keep us safe? There's lots of people working right now to keep us safe. Can you think of any other names? This man is a firefighter. Firefighters are community helpers who put out fires. They help us put out fires, but they also help us learn about fires. They help us know how to stay safe from fires, what to do if we see a fire, who to call, and how to make sure that our kitchens are safe. Police officers are community helpers who keep neighborhoods safe. So we're remembering police officer. They also help us with the law, a rule that's set by the community. Can you think of any laws that we have right now? We want to remember that a law is a rule. So police officers make sure people follow laws and help keep crimes from happening. Remember, police officer. The next was a paramedic who is a person who takes care of people when they are sick or hurt during an accident. Paramedic. They have other jobs as well. They take care of people during an emergency and sometimes they take them to a hospital. Paramedic. Another person who might help us are doctors. They help people stay healthy and help them when they're sick. Doctors. Doctors work in a team. There's often lots of doctors helping you with nurses. Nurses help doctors to make sure people in the community are healthy. So this one is nurse. You want to remember nurse. Another person is a pharmacist. They measure the medicine and teach you how to take it when you're sick. A pharmacist. Dentists and dental assistants help make sure our teeth are healthy and clean. Dentists and dental assistants, another team that help us stay healthy. A veterinarian is a doctor who treats animals and makes sure pets in our community are healthy. Veterinarian. We could also say vet. So who helps run the community? Another question. Who could you think of that helps run the community? It takes a lot of people to run a community, even more than we have here. Let's remember who they spoke about. They spoke about sanitation workers collect the garbage and help keep streets clean. So sanitation workers, sanitation workers. Letter carriers make sure everyone gets their mail. Letter carriers. Three people who help us with transportation are bus drivers, train conductors, and cab drivers, which help people move from place to place. Farmers are community helpers too. They help us to produce our food, which we then take to the shops where we can buy it. The next person are truck drivers. They transport or move things around our communities. For example, here they're taking the fresh eggs to the shop, where then we can buy them and take them to our homes. Store owners and clerks sell things to the community. So store owners and store clerks. The owner is the person who owns the shop and the clerk works there. A government is a group of people that sets rules and runs a community. A group of people that sets rules and runs a community. People in the government help lead the community. What is a government? Do you remember? 
The mayor is a government leader who helps make important decisions like building schools. They build more things than schools. Can you think of anything else? Maybe our parks. A teacher is a community helper who helps people learn. So we're remembering teacher. I think you've got that one. The next one is a librarian. The librarian is in charge of books and other resources in a library. Librarian. We have one in our school and also some in the community. Hmm, who else can we think of? Two more. So she thinks of Annie and Moby because we can help too. Annie and Moby can help. And what can you do to help your community? You can do something small or something big. Let's think of some ideas. How can you become a community helper? Did you think of anything? What you could do? You can help your community by following rules. A very important rule we're doing right now is, yep, staying in our house. You can clean up after yourself and work together to keep your neighborhood clean and safe. Make sure that if you drop something, you pick it up and put it in the rubbish. You can also volunteer and spend time helping out the community. So you could volunteer or you could donate things. You could, if someone needs food, you can bring it like we do to school, we donate food. There are many ways to get involved and help out. You can be a good citizen. If you see someone that needs help, help them. Like Moby helps him get the, the, the kite. So then we've got all of the different jobs we spoke about here to help you remember all the different ones. There's lots here, but there's even more than this, right? We're just trying to remember these individual ones. And then we've got our joke of the day. How do birds get in shape? How can they exercise? How can a bird exercise? Any ideas? Yep, that's what they can do. They can do warm ups. Warm up, get it? Warm up. That's a worm exercising. Ah, that's a good one. Great work, everybody. It's time to stop for today. Now you can do the game I made for you. Be good, keep up all the great work. I'm so proud of all your hard work. Excellent, primary one.